Hey guys, it's Tony Guattari here from Achievers Group. Um, I really, really wanted to talk to you about the need for systemization and business systemization. Um, and I'd probably best uh, for me to really start with just a very, very simple story about the need for systemization. Um, as some of you are actually aware, I'm a WOG. For those of you who don't understand what a WOG is, I'm actually, I, I, I'm Italian. My parents were born in Italy and came out to Australia in the 1950s. Um, and really, I was actually christened Antonio Roberto Guattari. Now, now, what I wanted to do is that um, when I got married, and I married um, a non-Italian. In fact, she's a New Zealander, but she was originally born in England. And her maiden name was Ingrid Joy Aitken. And I remember when we got married, my wife wanted to make my most favourite food. I mean, the food that I adored. And I said to her, honey, that's really easy. My favourite food is lasagna. Because my mum used to make the most amazing lasagna. Because you understand, she, she came from a cooking heritage. Food was everything to her. So she spent, you know, countless years learning from her mother, which had passed down generations, these most amazing recipes. And, and one of the recipes that she had was for lasagna. And, and clearly this lasagna was amazing. It was awe-inspiring. It was all handmade. It had cream sauce. It was just so delightful. You would cut the knife in, it would be like butter. I used to go to university and friends used to come around to my house not because I, I don't think they were really inspired by me. They just wanted more and more of this amazing lasagna. It was actually legendary. So when we got married, my wife tried to actually make this lasagna. And between you and me, guys, it was appalling. But my wife is really persistent. And here is the challenge. My mum can't speak English. My wife can't understand Italian. My mum can't write English. My wife can't read Italian. But my wife is very resourceful. So one Saturday afternoon, because usually they would make the lasagna on Saturday afternoon and they would serve it on a Sunday, my wife decided to drive about 45 minutes to my parents' place. She took a humble notebook, not a computer, a notebook, pen and paper. She walked in to my mum and dad's place and what she did was profound. For the next three hours, she followed my mum around and every time she did something to make lasagna, she wrote it down. Now, here is the good news, guys. My wife, who is not Italian, who has not spent 27 years understanding how to cook amazingly, um, from an Italian perspective, okay, can now cook better lasagna than my mum. The reason for that is because my wife got the recipe. And here is the point. The system is the recipe. So if you want to build a brilliant business, a business beyond you, you've got to ensure that you have a recipe for success. Because some of you are successful already, already, but you can't leverage your success because the recipe is in your brain. It's really important if you want to build a genuine world-class business that you actually put down what your systems are. Now, those systems don't have to be written down. I would strongly suggest that you use video now. There's a lot of technology which allows you to impart what your systems are around in your business, and you should do it in an entertaining way. Because clearly, um, you and I know that one of the most remarkable businesses in the world is in the fast food arena called McDonald's. And I don't know how many restaurants they've got, but my last count was around 27,000. And did you actually know that um, a long time ago, I was looking at actually purchasing a McDonald's franchise? And at that stage, there were about $700,000. And there was a huge queue. I mean, almost like a nine-year waiting list. But clearly, you could get another fast food franchise a lot quicker that even gave you a higher return on investments. But everybody wanted a McDonald's franchise. And one of the reasons was 
is that McDonald's was not selling a restaurant. It was actually selling a system that could be run by 16-year-olds. Because in the franchise agreement, after you had worked in the business for a year, it basically said in order to keep your franchise, you only have to work one day a year in your business. Because what McDonald's were brilliant at doing was making a complex thing simple because in its simplicity, they could employ a 16-year-old who could not clean their room but could somehow magnificently run a well-oiled machine, a McDonald's restaurant that probably does in excess of $5 million a year. Now that is the benefit of having a system. So guys, until next time, God bless you and have the most amazing week.